This video is sponsored by Squarespace, and today I'm going to be trying to fix my coil wine, or in my case, capacitor wine issue on my PS5. If you didn't watch my first video about this issue, be sure to go back and watch that so you know what I'm doing in this video. I'll put a link down in the description so you can go over to that video and watch that, and then come right back here and see if I can fix it. So this is the approximate size of the original capacitor in the PS5 power supply. These are the numbers on it, and these are the markings on the actual capacitor. And all these are the capacitors that I found that might work. I've already ruled out these four and narrowed it down to these four. The first capacitor that I found that actually fits right in there, basically exactly the same as the old one that I got out of it, but this one is only 0.68 microfarads, so I'm gonna rule out this size of capacitor for now. So then the next problem I had is most of the capacitors were this size, which will fit in there, sort of, but I will have to modify the legs to be able to solder them on. This capacitor right here is one that I would like to put in here because it's one microfarad, but it's also 630 volts. So having one that's 630 volts versus 310 volts, I feel like might be a good idea and it might take away that noise. But unfortunately, these legs are just really hard to get in there and bend correctly, so I'm gonna use this as a last resort. So then what we're left with is these Kemet capacitors and this Worth capacitor. And these capacitors are basically the same. I'm gonna go ahead and try this Worth capacitor and I'll show you how I'm gonna do it. Now, I actually don't know anything about this company. I've never used their components. I'm not an electronics engineer and working with a power supply like this and testing components and stuff like that is more than I usually do when repairing electronics, but I'm always trying to push my skills and learn more. So what I'm gonna do with this capacitor, as you can see, the legs are wider apart than these holes right here. So I'm gonna bend these legs and try and push them through the holes and then solder it on. And then we'll try and start it up and see if we still get that coil wine noise. Now, one of the other things you probably already noticed is there is another capacitor that's exactly the same as the capacitor I removed. So it is possible we'll have to replace this capacitor as well, but I'm gonna start by just replacing this one and see if that's enough to get the noise to go away. So this shows pretty well what I'm talking about. These legs are too far apart for these holes right here. I'm actually gonna leave this leg straight, so hopefully that will fit down in here, and then I'm just gonna bend this leg. I'd really like it if this power supply case didn't have to be modified. I may have to do that, but I'm gonna try and get away with not doing it at all by bending just this one leg, and then hopefully it'll fit in here just like this capacitor did, just right on the edge of this circuit board. So like I said, this leg I'm gonna leave the same. This leg I'm gonna bend to about right here, so I'm gonna try and bend it around this dental pick I have right here. I'll just go like this. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. And then I'll do the same right here. So that's pretty close to what we need. Let's see if it'll fit. Okay, and actually it looks pretty good. It is covering up this hole over here, which is fine. That's just a locating pin that I can break off of the bottom of the power supply cover. Let's look at the bottom side. Okay, and there we go. I think that's gonna work fine. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bend this over and bend this over. That will just make sure that it is on there nice and solid. Then I can solder those two points right there. And then I can cut the legs off and we'll see how it looks. All right, and now I can come in with a pair of flush cutters, cut them off right at the base. And there we go, that looks good. Let's see how secure it is when we flip it over. All right, and that's pretty secure considering how big it is. I don't like how much it moves though. I am gonna test it like this, but once I'm done testing it, assuming that there's no noise, I am gonna put some epoxy down in here just to make sure that these two are stuck together just to keep it from moving around at all. If you guys watch my video about the power supply on the Xbox Series X, you'll remember that there was globs of epoxy in various places on the motherboard. And I'm guessing a lot of the reason for that is to re reduce any vibration or resonance on the board just to help keep it quieter. So 
That's one thing that I'll probably do with this, assuming we can get the coil wind noise to go away. And there we go. Okay, let's see if it'll fit in there now. And it does. That's good enough to test it. So I'm gonna get it all set up again so we can test this thing and see if this gets rid of the noise. Now it's all set up and ready to test, but before I test it, I wanna tell you about our sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. Now I've started, built, and ran multiple websites before Squarespace was even a thing. So one of my favorite things about Squarespace is how easy it is to use. If you don't know exactly what you want on your website, you can use a template right from Squarespace and then just change the things you need to make it look the way you want. And if you get stuck, Squarespace has a whole resource center where you can find the help you need. So whether you're brand new to websites or you have a lot of experience building websites, Squarespace is a great option. One of my favorite things about Squarespace is their member area. You can connect with your audience and even generate revenue through gated members only content. You can manage your members, send email communications, and leverage audience insights all in one easy to use platform. Now Squarespace is also great for e-commerce. It has the tools you need to get your business off the ground, including e-commerce templates, inventory management, a simple checkout process, and secure payments. No matter what you sell, Squarespace can make your products look their best online, and there's no limit to the number of products you can sell through Squarespace. So go to squarespace.com for your free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash tronixfix for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Now let's test this PS5 power supply. Ah! Just kidding, did I get ya? Okay, I can definitely hear a bit of a ticking already. I'm gonna try and use one of my microphones and get right down in there so you can hear what I'm hearing. Hopefully it'll come through on my mic. I will replace this blue capacitor with this red capacitor from Worth. Hopefully that will be enough to reduce the noise somewhat. If you've been watching my Xbox Series X videos, you'll notice this power supply came out of an Xbox Series X and it has this gray adhesive epoxy stuff kind of like all over the board. And this power supply is much quieter than the one on the PS5. And so I'm hoping maybe if I put some silicone type adhesive between these capacitors and maybe some on the board in various places, then hopefully that will reduce or eliminate that noise. So I'm gonna get those capacitors replaced and then I'm gonna try putting some of this electronic grade silicone on these capacitors and then I'm also gonna even zip tie them together. I'm hoping between all of those things the noise will at least be reduced and hopefully eliminated. And just to show you the dangers of these capacitors, I have 1000 volt protected insulated professional electric pliers from Weha, and I'm going to show you what happens when I short the two leads coming out of the large capacitor. Woo! That gets me every time. That's why you don't mess around with power supplies. So now with these all installed, I'm gonna plug it in and see what kind of noise we get next. And then after that, I will put in the silicone adhesive and then we'll see if the noise goes away. All right, and let's see what kind of noise we have now. I'm gonna start over here, then move over here and around other parts of the board. Okay, now I hear very, very little noise. There's a little bit of a ticking noise I still hear, but other than that, that main ticking noise is definitely gone. Okay, and now we have the PS5 power supply hooked up to the PS5 motherboard. Now I'm gonna turn it on and see what kind of noise we get. Okay, and now I'm gonna run the microphone over the same areas and see if the noise has changed. I'm gonna put the silicone adhesive on between all those capacitors and hopefully that will just make that noise basically zero. So I'm gonna do that next. Now this specific silicone says it takes 24 hours to fully cure. So I do wanna wait until it's fully cured. And then I'm gonna do the zip tie trick and zip tie around all of these just to hopefully reduce any vibration that these might have. Then after that, I'll get it put back together and then we can test it out and see if it makes noise still or not. 
So I've got all this silicone covering all of these components. It's been well over 24 hours and the silicone is nice and dry. And all these components are very solidly stuck together now. I also put some silicone on some of the ICs on the bottom. I don't think that's really gonna do much. I don't think that was the problem. But since somebody mentioned it in the comments on my last video, I figured I might as well just add it on. It's got all of these capacitors all zip tied together. We've got all the silicone in between to hopefully dampen any vibrations. Now it's time to plug it in and see if we have gotten rid of our noise. But the noise is definitely less than what it was when we started. So I'm gonna get this power supply back together, then we'll test it when it's hooked up to the PS5. So right about down in here or where those capacitors are. So I'm gonna pass my mic right over this area and let's see what we can hear. Now, just with my ear, I can hear a little bit of a buzzy noise coming out of here, but really not much at all. Thank you again to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Be sure to go to the link in the description if you'd like to sign up to build your website quick and easy. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a good one.